Hello, this is a quick time lapse of how I made this hand painted low poly tree stump. It's a basic model, and I just used the cube, subdivided, did a couple of loop cuts, and used the sculpt tool to just warp it slightly. I created a little stump out the side and extruded the top. I create loop cuts where needed, get rid of the base because that won't be seen. Trying to keep it low poly and now I'm marking my seams. Try and get as few seams as possible and put them in areas where you think you might need to isolate for painting. If you need to know how to set up for painting, there's a card in the corner. If you need to know how to select just one area of your mesh for painting, I'll put a card in the corner now. So I was being fairly experimental but trying to get some base colours down to start off with for different shades of the wood. And then went to a dark colour for the grooves. Then over to a light colour for the highlights. Because we're painting on low poly, you occasionally come across slight glitches where you've painted across an edge and it doesn't quite work. Use the smear brush to iron those out. A lot of my edges were quite messy, so I used the smear brush to smooth them out as well. Now I'm just adding in detail. It's good to have reference images. I've got my reference images on another monitor. So I've got real wood, cartoon wood that other people have painted, just to give me some ideas. And it's quite an experimental process. I'm still learning all the time. But hopefully this video can give you some guidance and you can spot the mistakes that I make so you don't make them yourself. If I were to do this again, a quicker workflow would be to do all these crevices with the dark brush and then move over to the highlight brush afterwards. But I skip between the two just because I'm not really confident in my ability just yet. Obviously didn't want this to look too realistic, so I'm still trying to give it a cartoony type of look. I ended up using the smear brush a fair bit in this project. The only thing I would say is that if you've got a high resolution texture, it does slow down and lag.
I'm coming on to the final detail now. But you can see that I've got blank areas that I should have filled in a bit earlier than this. Now I'm going through and using my light brush for highlights. To sample colours you press S and left click on your viewport to the colour you want. You can see I've built up a palette underneath my colour wheel. Now I'm smearing out any errors. Here I set up two more brushes, a screen brush and a multiply brush, as per usual, just to highlight certain areas and give it some depth. So this is the screen brush. Make sure you've got a, a light tone when using the screen brush and a dark tone when using the multiply brush. So now I've gone across the multiply brush and just fill in those areas of shade. And there we have it, the finished tree stump. Let me know if you're enjoying these tutorials and let me know if you have any ideas or you have a different workflow that you can share. Thanks for watching.